are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm Cassie. This is Christina. We are here with Fit BK backstage for Torch Talk tonight. <laughs> um, we are. We just started these new segments with you, with you guys. Um, if you joined me last week with Fitness Remedy, um, we did a little bit of after talk after class. Um, just a little information on what the classes are about. Um, a little bit of the comments from our members. So tonight we had Torch with Christina, and we just wanted to talk a little bit about that class and um, give you guys just a few tips tonight. We're only going to take about 10 to 12 minutes of your time, so we're so glad that you joined us tonight. Right, Chris? Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, welcome to the new segment. <laughs> We're working it out as we speak. <laughs> um, just to, uh, I'm assuming that some of the people that are joined are jumping in right after Torch. I just want to tell you again, thank you for participating. I could not do this without FitBK and your uh, participation. So I just wanted to, again, tell you thank you for coming out and uh, working out with me every week. It is so much fun and it is really the highlight of my week to see you guys work out with us. So Torch is a high intensity interval training class. We're usually going on, 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 go, 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 35 to 45 seconds, depending on uh, how I'm feeling that day. And then we have a 10 second break, giving you an opportunity in that 10 seconds to kind of um, catch your wind, let, um, get some oxygen into your blood so that you can go for that next 35 to 40 seconds. Um, today we did quite a bit of upper body, and sh so we were hitting shoulders, we were hitting back, um, we were hitting triceps and biceps, um, we had a lot of push-ups, we had push-ups into burpees, we had renegade rows, <laughs> Um, we had curls uh, to kind of to a, a shoulder press, so that included our upper body work and then our lower body work. We were doing mostly on the floor, but we were combining that lower body work with upper body just to burn more calories. Uh, I try to reiterate in torch that we want to work smarter. Um, we want to work hard, but we want to work smarter. So we want to try to. Um, develop and uh, incorporate as many muscles as possible so that we're really doing more in less time. No one wants to work out for two to three hours. So exactly. uh, we want you mm -hmm. to work and give us whatever you have for that hour and you really feel like you did something. Um, I don't know. I, I think I think people feel like they did something after the warm up. I mean, if you <laughs> if you have joined us for torch and if you you're going through Christina warm up and she says, okay, we just finished the warm up. You're like, okay, wait a minute. I thought we were already into the class. <laughs> so, you know, it's definitely an exciting class. And she mentioned rene renegade roles, which I absolutely hate, 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 hate. But um, it's a very effective workout. So, you know, she she has some great moves. I mean. <laughs> you really can't ask for a better full body exercise in a renegade mm -hmm. row because you are in a plank and you're recruiting your core and then at the same time while stabilizing your core you are um, doing that row and pulling back so you're working your back as well as um, your shoulders so again the that we like to incorporate those compound moves so that you are recruiting all these different muscles at one time. Um, in terms of the difficulty of the class, uh, I will say that coming to torch repeatedly mm -hmm. is how you get better mm -hmm. and you gain endurance and you're able to do more. There are quite a few people in torch who never lifted a weight and um, we're and had a lot of trepidation about doing any kind of strength training class and it really mm -hmm. comes with repetition understanding form taking it slow in the beginning and understanding that uh, with time you're going to feel more confident about the moves and then you can pick up speed and then you can pick up um, heavier weights and things of that nature and we really try to reiterate this to anyone that's in torch is that we're not expecting you to jump in and do mm -hmm. everything oh well <laughs> sorry um 
So she's she's right. We're not expecting you to do everything when you're um, in torch. You know, it's all about what your uh, physical abilities are. And she, she also offers modifications for all of the moves as well. So that way that you're always included if you feel that there's a move that you cannot do. Like tonight, we had one of the girls um, ask uh, for a modification for a woman that is pregnant. Right? For yes. which Which move did you do that for that one? Um... Well, I bl- oh, because oh, I was when we were, yeah, yeah when, you, when you're doing the swimmers. Yes, yes when we were doing yes, the swimmers, yes. which um, we were basically telling her to just do the same um, motion mm-hmm. but standing up. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, so we do have a whole production team for a lot of, for our classes, and there is someone always looking at the comments. It's usually Cassie, and so don't ever feel like you can't stop and ask a question and ask for a modification, because then they're... They're on the spot telling me that you need something so that I can tell you mm-hmm. on the camera. So that's one of the nice things about our classes. It's not as if you're watching a um, pre-recorded video and you can't speak to someone and you can't ask for help. And um, not every class is like that. So I would tell you that if you are coming to our classes, you should use that because mm-hmm. we are here for you and we want to be responsive and we want you to feel like you get the best workout possible the best workout possible the best sweaty sweaty and fun workout the music is absolutely great um it kind of pushes you and motivates you you know it's that type of music that you have to put in your ear that you know your parents really didn't want you to listen to i'm just kidding (laughs) but you know high motivation music that kind of keeps you going so tonight after every class um we have a virtual fitness workout group that um after every class we have a couple of members just post in there and just let us know how they did for their workout, how they felt about the workout. Um, if you have joined any of our classes with FitBK, please don't hesitate to go to our FitBK page on Facebook and Instagram and just leave a, a comment, leave a message. You can leave a review on our FitBK page and just let us know what you think about the classes. So we love to hear your sweaty, sweaty comments. Tonight, just going through a little bit of our comments in the virtual uh, fitness group. I'm just gonna pull up my phone here. Uh, let's see, where do we start? Where do we start? We had a couple of latecomers tonight, but that's okay. It's all right to be late as long as you show up. You know, no workout is a bad workout. So 30 minutes makes a big difference. Uh, let's see, let's see. Laugh out loud. I was dripping in the first 10 and started asking, is class over the halfway part? So that was from Gail, Christina. And that's a, just a a testament to what I told you guys about after you do the warm up on um, with Christina, how you think that you are, <laughs> you have started the workout already, but you really just started your warm up. So big ups to Kel, um, Gail on that. Christina, you have anything to say to Gail for for her dripping in the first ten minutes? <laughs> Listen, I wouldn't be a good trainer if I didn't have you warm up. So don't ever start a workout cold. You can never say you started torch cold. <laughs> I know. And, and you know, Christina likes to give you guys your full hour. So um, <laughs> if we start... <laughs> If we start at 7.10, you best to believe at 8.10, we are still going. All right? So tonight, we also had a comment about that. Um, ah, I see. You heard my cries, too. I don't usually look at the time, but this time when it was past 8 and Coach said time for core, <laughs> I looked at the time like, is she still going? Um, I was like, what core? I thought we just did that. So... You know, <laughs> we started that? at was seven that ten, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she's going to make sure that you guys get your full hour. She does not cheat you. I'm going to tell you that on Thursday on Fitness Remedy, you guys get 55 minutes. <laughs> it's that five more minutes to the hour. We on our way on our way to the cool down. I love it. Dance cardio is a different beast, though. <laughs> Exactly, and that's why she should end 10 minutes early for 12. Exactly, <laughs> right, guys? You you agree. If you agree, drop that in the But you get a comments. break. I give you all these 10-second breaks in Torch. <laughs> <laughs> she don't break it all. She be you dancing. Got, wait a minute. Like, I don't think I saw the water bottle displayed today on um, Torch. Oh, no. You did not take a break today. I don't think I ever take a break. No, <laughs> she just makes them sw- swallow your saliva. There's no water. Listen, the they're taking breaks. If they were taking breaks, and I don't even know, I I saw, I was flipping through. I was like, 
Someone was watching me work out. <laughs> yes. I know. Oh, don't you hate that? When, they, when, you, when you look up at the um, Zoom, to all our instructors out there, when you look up at the Zoom and you see someone staring at you while you're working out, dripping, you just, and you can't stop and say, hey. <laughs> you know, you just want to say, why are you looking at me? Get up and work. Yes, so. we've seen a little, and that's been the interesting, interesting thing about Zoom. So you've welcomed us into your home. So I see some of you guys who will be cooking while <laughs> we're working out. <laughs> or you're like, or you're petting the dog. Oh my goodness, or- <laughs> the pets. Oh, oh yeah, pets. no, because my dog won't let me live. My dog won't let me live when I'm on the floor, so no. I understand that if you're doing anything on the floor, the dog. Oh, we is have going a few nuts. pet people. Um, Tammy. <laughs> Tammy she gets pet. jealous when you get on the oh, floor. Oh my goodness! Oh, Leanne. <laughs> Leanne, I saw your dog. Oh my good, Jamila and her cat. All you guys bring your pets to work out. Child, you should see the things going on in Zoom. My goodness. Cassie gets a better view than I do. (laughs) So just a little bit of more. Um, Alicia says, these dual exercises she has us doing works the core. We don't need a separate section. (laughs) Noted, Alicia, but you're going to do them anyway. Sorry. Alicia basically said... Take the core session out at the end. We did that during planks. We did that during renegade rows, right, Alicia? But no. This is compound exercises. So again, we're work- working more. We're recruiting more muscles at one time, right? Because we don't want to be working out for three hours. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the core is. Um, you know, a lot of people are very uh, lazy when it comes to the core. They don't want to work the core. It's so, especially when it's like focused on the core, right? It's it's, it's uncomfortable. So. <laughs> yeah, it re- it really is. But boy, is that baby sexy in the summertime when you get that core working and you walk past that mirror and you see that little Gail side, the break you're like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the ten second Gail break. Gail said the anything. ten second break ain't enough. Okay. Yeah, the ten second break is just enough to get you up off the floor <laughs> into the next exercise. It's a transition. It's a transition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and if you're an athlete, I know that a lot of our members um, run marathons. Um, also, like me, they do mud races. Um, you know, they, they, some of them, I know they do Olympic weightlifting. There's, there's Mm -hmm. quite a, there's a lot of athletes too, that I, that I know that work out with us and implementing the core exercises really translate into being a better runner, um, Mm -hmm. improving your endurance, helping with your lifting. Um, so as much as I know that some of you guys hate it, it, it is really one of those things that if you work on implementing some of those exercises into your everyday workout routines you're going to see improvement in other areas of your fitness and you know that and just basic um you know having a tight core and your center of gravity um having a tight core and not um experiencing lower back pain so you know all of those things having a tight core and helping with better posture so the core is really really essential in a lot of things and as far as the body is concerned so just making sure that the core is strong is if you don't have to have a six pack eight pack nine pack twelve pack but you, you just want to make sure you have it you yeah have they're already there you have you don't them. have to be bulging no it's you have them, but you have to have, in order to see, most people, in order to see your abs, you have to have a pretty low body fat uh, yes. percentage. And that isn't easily attainable, or you would see everyone having abs. No matter that the fitness community, not the fitness community, the fitness equipment community that sells um, fitness equipment would like to tell you that you could just do this five-minute exercise, <laughs> and then you're going to have <laughs> Wait, listen. abs. I had my ab roller for a very <laughs> long time. A very long time. I loved my ab roller. How many out there had ab rollers? Please, please, just drop that in the comments. For I us. have an ab roller, mm-hmm. but it's not gonna. Make I know. You that's that. after a while. You like? It's not working. It's all about know. what you do in the kitchen, right? <laughs> you know yes, this. you know. We already know nutrition is essential, especially when it comes to the core. <laughs> I do hate the ab roller too. It took me a while 
because you have to have proper posture in order to not hurt your back doing the ab roller because if you don't oh, you know if yeah. you're not like tucking your tailbone mm -hmm. um a lot of people are like this the ab roller just hurts it just destroys my back and it's like because most people aren't don't have proper posture when they're going down but it took me a while to learn that and and then when you had the ab roller we were like you're trying to pull up like your back is flat and you're trying to pull up and you're just doing your neck and your neck is like <laughs> yes. coming up past that pad well, that, like, it was and just that's like, why you're like oh this hurts <laughs> So, but, you know, basically just, just stay consistent when it comes to the core and you will see your results. You know, it really, it really takes time. Sometimes it just takes someone else coming to you and saying, wow, you look great. Oh, I see your core before consistent, you to realize. Oh, consistently my core dieting. Consistently <laughs> making sure that you're eating Eating well. the right thing. <laughs> you, no you build no the rice core. at 10 o'clock or 8 o'clock You at build night. the core to make it bold to see it so that when you... Um, burn that layer of fat over your abdominal muscles, you'll be able to see them. So, uh, you know, working the core is great, but there's just as many benefits to just making sure that you have a strong core for fitness purposes because you're going to just have better endurance, better performance in general in your fitness. <laughs> So we are so glad you guys joined us. I'm just flipping through a little bit of the comments that we have on the Facebook page. Uh, Gail Edwards, the torture is real. We need to sip some water, coach. Those 10-second breaks don't do anything. Yes, I know. Sip some water, sip water, sip water. <laughs> um, let me see. I own it, me. I hate core, Gail. Uh, hey, all. I finally had the strength to get in the shower after class. Uh, Alicia, Yes. Girl, you better make sure you have the strength to get in the shower. Don't put your butt in the bed in the, all sweaty after torch now. No play. Okay. So thank you guys for joining us tonight. These are just um, small, short segments just to kind of get out there and speak to you and um, talk to you, give you guys a few tips. Tonight's tip is uh, what? Are we going to discuss water tonight? Uh, tonight's tip is... Drink, drink, drink water. It is essential. It is one of Earth's elements. It is necessary for the body. Um, we, uh, how many, how much water would you recommend that they, I think they recommend that you drink, uh, is it one pounds. ounce per body, body pound? Uh, I per, believe I read one ounce per, per your, pound of your body is one ounce weight. per your body weight. So um, 150 pounds, 150 ounces per day. <laughs> well, we know that 120 ounces equals one gallon, which equals eight, 16 ounces bottles of water. So if you can get eight bottles of water in, that's great. Anywhere between six to eight bottles of water in per day is essential. So um, that is your tip of the day to make sure that you drink plenty, plenty of water. Sis? Uh, so I drink, I try to drink a gallon of water a day. Um, I find that, well, and I tell most of the people in our challenge as we try to have them implement more water in their diet because a lot of people just either don't like the taste of water mm -hmm. or they, um, they just find that it's not something that they implement throughout their day. But water is a natural appetite suppressant. Yep. Um, many times when you think, think you are thirsty, I mean, you are, I mean, you are hungry, you are actually thirsty. Famished. Um, <laughs> Dried out. <laughs> because uh, you haven't <laughs> been drinking en enough water. And the body retains um, water if you are not drinking enough of it. So um, when you're actually feeling like swollen, it is also, be it, it is usually because you, maybe you um, ate something that was salty and you're retaining yeah. water, but also the fact that you may have not been drinking enough water and it's holding on to whatever water is in your body. So I would say um, drink water not only because uh, it's one of the most important like flushes, like cleanses that you could be doing. It does you don't have to like drink uh, organic uh, <laughs> celery juice with lemon to for a cleanse. Just good old water. Water works. Um, making sure you're drinking enough water. It cleanses your skin. It helps flush fat. Um, it is just one of those things that you can do for your body that doesn't cost very much, and it helps uh, again appetite suppressant. And you have clear skin, um, <coughs> nails grow, like your nail, like yes. just so many different so things. So many different things. It's just, it's, 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 
essential just as well as you breathe air and you sleep you need water those are the most essential one um, water is one of your top essential essential elements and just some tips to help you uh drink more water there are everybody uses apps everybody's on their phone all the time there are lots of free water apps on um you know google play and um i don't know what the i'm not an apple user <laughs> oh, oh, the, or the, oh, the Apple, Apple, yeah, Apple app, um, Apple app, or whatever. <laughs> um, so you can down, you can download these free timers that will like ping to tell you to remind you to drink water. Also, uh, mm. um, there are we have quite a, quite a few of these in our members too. So there are um, gallons oh, yes. that are marked off, and they're like giving the you times. encouragement, and they're saying like, "Come on, you can do this." <laughs> you know, it's fun. Um, also. Uh, making sure that you, you can also, if you don't like the taste of water, that you can infuse your oh, water infuse it, yes. with um, different vegetables and fruits, and so that again, if like if you just don't like the taste of regular water, mm -hmm. you're doing that. Um, while seltzer water, I I don't mind seltzer water because I know a lot of people start there with it, mm -hmm. um, and because it's zero calorie, they also have them flavored. I would just recommend that you look at the ingredients to make sure they're like with the artificial it's just, sugar it's just water it should be just seltzer water yeah, sometimes it's not. sometimes it has an artificial flavoring um yeah. sometimes it's fruit flavoring but you know it should just um say water yeah you know so and a know. lot of that sometimes a lot of seltzer water can like eat at the having those your extra tea. uh eat the, the enamel mm -hmm. of your tea so you just want to like be cognizant of what it is that you're putting in your body mm -hmm. you know and um it's just one of those simple things you could do for your health. Um, I drink water like it's my job. So I would take that uh, into Well, it's your job to make sure that your body is hydrated. <laughs> so you should be drinking water. It is your job. Which Everybody is a good, doesn't good look concept, at it like that. Right? But if you, if you remind yourself, like, well, <laughs> uh, we also try to say, uh, try to tell people in 50K that your health is your own responsibility. Mm-hmm. Um, it is nobody's responsibility but your own. So when you make that decision daily to implement small mm -hmm. things to improve your health, um, those small habits like drinking water, uh, making sure that you're trying to eat as many vegetables as possible, eating lean protein, doing some kind of exercise, um, those things add up. Yep. And um, consistency and cementing those habits daily is what is key. going to have long, long life change. And that's really what Fit BK what is all about, about, is that we create this community of people that seek better health daily. We mess up, um, we have bad days, mm -hmm. uh, but we are here to support each other and pick each other back up. And we are learning together and trying to find that happy medium so that it's sustainable. Yes. Um, we just finished the 90 day challenge, right? That ended on Sunday, Fit BK 90 day spring challenge. Um, big congratulations to our challengers who made it through those 90 days and have made progress. Whether you've seen um, small, small amount of inches off, small amount of weight loss. Um, I'm sure that you picked up some type of um, good habit from it or, you know, just just some type of, of nugget from the class, whether um, it's a new recipe, um, just new exercise tips, um, just so many different things you that was given to you. So a big flood of information that was given throughout the three months. There's absolutely positively no way that you left that challenge without learning something picking up a new habit um learning a new exercise so we thank you guys for joining us for that the next challenge starts back in september or september 27th for the fit bk fall 90 day challenge and we're excited to see um hopefully the members that joined us for these 90 days and you went and told your family and friends and we have new members that come back in Yes. yes, the 90 day challenge is a lot of fun and in the beginning, it, I, I know a lot of people find it a little overwhelming because we're asking you to <laughs> meal prep mm -hmm. and get your exercise in weekly and for some people they're really starting at zero and they're grasping for straws in terms of where do I even start in trying to plan meals and, and, and things like that. We have a, a very big 
Caribbean population that are used to eating very dense, <laughs> high carb, um, low protein, high sodium <laughs> meals. So um, it is really relearning habits and um, mm -hmm. thinking outside the box, trying new foods. So it, it can feel mm -hmm. like a lot sometimes, but it is amazing to see these people transform. Trans yes and understand, try vegetables. They didn't even think of trying. Uh, we had an amazing cooking class with Cassie this uh, over this period, um, which I'm hoping we're gonna be doing a lot more of. So it was a live cooking segment. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, in terms of just like the vibrant colors of, and it was a very simple salad, but very tasty and something that you can implement um, throughout the week. And, and um, cause kale, it is a kale salad. And mm -hmm. it's one of those things that, especially with the um, the lemon marinade, that it's something that keeps well because uh, a lot of people have issues with like meal prep meal and prep. Yeah. things like um, going sour and and uh, and things like that. But um, I think it was it was a good opportunity for people to see how easy it is because um, in the challenge we give you recipes and we're all posting what we made. But um, I think sometimes seeing that step-by-step -step process. Process, yeah. Um, and yeah. then you're like, oh, because a lot of times, <laughs> and this doesn't have to do with just cooking, but this is a task in general. You know, you build it up in your mind and you're like dreading it. Yeah. And then you do it <laughs> and then you're like, oh, gosh. That only took me 10 took minutes. took me 10 minutes. <laughs> I know. And, you know, and, and, and it's in... And it's like, it is a process, especially when you're trying a new meal because you have, like, the phone or the TV there and you're going step by step. You have every recipe, you know, the ingredients out. But, you know, we just wanted to try to find a, a meal. First of all, it was called Kiss, uh, Cassie's Kitchen, and um, I was excited to bring that to you. It was my very first one. We had jazz music. It was so nice. Um, but It looked professional. <laughs> I was super impressed. Our tech team, our tech team is amazing. <laughs> Um, so just trying to bring you like a, a quick and um, light meal, especially in the summer. A nice kale salad um, can be filling, like filling as well as um, just light and airy, so that you don't feel weighed down in the heat in the summertime. So we just want to say thank you for joining us and taking the time out to join us for Torch Talk tonight, which is a segment of our Fit BK backstage. I am Cassie, and I'm Christina. <laughs> And we will see you again next week with FitBK Backstage. Thank you. Thank you.